I recently had the chance to interview Roger Payne, an American biologist and conservationist for our Scripps News long-form documentary, In Real Life, Voices of Nature. What I didn't know then was that this would be his final interview. Payne was 88 and battling cancer. He died June 10th in his home. He was known for his discovery that whales could sing, and his 1970 multi-platinum album, Songs of the Humpback Whale, which became the most popular nature recording in history. As we remember the life of Roger Payne, here's an excerpt from that interview. That's great. Oh, what a sound. Given how much the world has changed since this came out and people rallied around this, what do you take away from it? How does it feel to you? I guess I felt that is what should have happened. The enthusiasm was just shocking. And uh, what it all comes down to then is that it shows you, I think, what the effect is of the sounds of these animals on the deeper feelings that people have. Roger Payne's pioneering research into whale songs came at a time when the world was killing more than 100,000 whales a year. His hydrophone recordings led to the discovery of rhythmic melodies and thematic patterns in whale songs that resembled complex music scores. These songs galvanized a global movement that brought an end to commercial whaling, saving them from the brink of extinction. I'm often asked, you know, why do you care what whales say? Why should anybody care what they're saying? Why should we care what all of life might be saying? And my feeling is the reason you have to care about it is because if we fail to see the importance of the complete interworking of all species, all knitted together, then we will miss an understanding of everything that's going on that really matters. Payne's legacy is not only his pioneering research and conservation work through the founding of Ocean Alliance, he also achieved something rare in science the ability to create empathy for another species. Sam Eaton, Scripps News.